For explosiveness, the load on the jump should be way, way lower. Well, that's not necessarily true. First off, we have to define what the heck explosiveness actually is. You see, researchers back in the day like Yuri Verkashansky actually underwent the studying of what the heck is explosiveness. And they found it's kind of a composite quality mix of three different things. Starting strength, acceleration strength, and your total max force potential. This graph might look complex, but it's actually pretty simple. The top, top curve is 100% of your one rep max measured through isometrics. And then the preceding 80, 60, 40, and 20% are just relative percentages of that one rep max. What they did, they looked at the curve shape and the relative influencing factors for each given load. What they found was really light loads were dependent on things like starting strength quite a bit. Not shown here in this paper, yeah, it's dependent on starting strength, but it was also heavily dependent on other factors like your maximal strength as well, because heck, your starting strength, which is a neurological phenomenon as to how fast you recruit your muscles, is still dependent on the strength of your muscles in the first place. Modern day research calls that early stage rate of force development. What they call acceleration strength, modern day researchers call late stage rate of force development. This is dependent on muscle cross-sectional area, maximal strength, and also the fiber types of the muscle itself. Before we go and say, oh, that doesn't make you explosive or it does make you explosive, we have to define what the heck explosiveness actually is. The researchers of this paper actually talked about how explosiveness isn't even its own independent quality. It's just the ability to move something as fast as you can. And depending on the weight, the load, the context is dependent on those three factors I mentioned earlier, maximal strength, accelerative strength, and starting strength. Depending upon the load and how you load it, whether it's an eccentric load or no eccentric load, the speed of loading at which you lower it, all influences how much maximal strength, starting strength, and acceleration strength all play a role. So to say, oh, that's not gonna help with explosiveness is a very arbitrary statement because what is explosiveness? Are heavy, heavy loads best for improving early stage rate of force development? Probably not. Are heavier ballistic loads really good for this acceleration strength area? Probably. Can they also improve the maximal strength area? Yeah, that's my guess. Maximal strength and acceleration, starting strength, all are kind of the three ingredients for explosiveness. So at the end of the day, I would say heavy loaded jumps can improve explosiveness. It's science.